are in our main repository space for the University of Wyoming Archaeological Repository. We have over 3 million artifacts from over 15,000 sites around the state of Wyoming. 90% of the artifacts we store are uh, the refuse from hunter-gatherer campsites that uh, were produced within the last 13,000 years. We hold on to these artifacts because it's the record of people living in this state before historical records existed. Projectile points, arrowheads, um, dart points, beads, metal points, faunal elements to ground stones. It's what we go back to, to, to continue to understand the historical record of, of Wyoming. So every artifact in this repository has a story associated with it. Each one tells a story um, of Wyoming's past. There aren't any written records for most of that time period, uh, obviously. So this is, this is what we have as the historical record. People love the past, and specifically in Wyoming. Wyoming is deeply invested in its own history. Uh, these objects are the thing that connect people directly to that history. Uh, in a really tangible way. Imagine if you took all the uh, historic documents that describe the history of Wyoming as uh, a territory and as a, as a state, and then burn them all. That's the equivalent of if this material were not kept here. The collections are used by our students, by uh, other researchers um, across the country, and in fact, uh, from other places in the, in the world. So some researchers out of California became interested in uh, the genetics of bison that lived in Wyoming uh, 10 to 12,000 years ago. And uh, because we had artifacts from the Horner sites stored here, we were able to facilitate genetic research on those bison remains. And all these things can inform research questions uh, for a wide array of disciplines beyond archaeology, like wildlife management or uh, ranch ecology. And their utility never goes away because the the theories that we bring to the material change over time, and we can look at them with a different perspective. And the techniques we have to use on this, these materials also changes and improves. There's really no end to what we can learn and the information that we can extract from these uh, mat materials. As archeology span is done, in the future, eventually, these shelves become, become full and we need more space. And all of that material will then have to go into uh, a, a federally approved repository. We are the only federal repository in the state of Wyoming, so that means everything that is collected tends to come right here. The collection of kinds of archeological materials is uh, not going to stop and in fact is um, most likely going to ramp up over uh, the next 10, 10 years as a function of uh, federal in investment in uh, infrastructure in the, in the nation. And that's gonna require the space to um, store that material at, at this uh, professional uh, level of, of, of curation. As opposed to the space across the hallway where we have these nice compact shelving units that kind of slide down these tracks and we can store a ton of stuff. Uh, the South 40 has these static shelving units. We pretty much just stack stuff on it. Uh, there's a lot of space going to waste here, both uh, between where artifacts are sitting on shelves and, and the next shelf, but also because these shelving units don't actually smash together in a really confined way. Uh, we could be utilizing the space a lot better than we are now. So this space, we want to get compact shelving in here and then a space uh, just west of us here as well. We want to convert that space into a uh, compact shelving space. Uh, and that's going to set us up long term for probably decades. That's going to prepare this facility for a really long time. And we're pretty much guaranteed not to run out of room here for decades to come if we get this funding. Investing in this space is not just an investment in the space itself, it's also an investment in the students and faculty members that use this. Almost all of the employees that staff this facility are University of Wyoming students or former University of Wyoming students. Uh, these jobs are a really crucial way for these students to fund their education, 
and also help them get on their feet when they're kind of in that awkward period between you know, finishing a graduate degree and getting a job. We provide uh, not only financial compensation for this work, but really valuable skills that these people can use to make themselves a, a lot more competitive on the job market. These improvements are gonna allow us to manage these collections in a lot more uh, efficient and sustainable way uh, than, than we are right now, and it's an investment worth making.